Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So this is really starting to look like a um, consolidation range at the top of a move. It'll be very interesting to see what's going to happen today. So watching this very closely, uh, if we start dropping down through the time frames, you're going to start seeing a little bit of structure here. So uh, let's just put that level there. That's the top of the range. And uh, we did battle with it yesterday. That's the bottom of the range. And there is also structure here. So uh, one way or another, we need a break, either up or down, before we can start trading. So um, oscillators have eased off. We have separated a bit. does look like a crossover is brewing. Nothing's concrete yet. And uh, just bear in mind that I am traveling next week. So uh, it depends what happens tomorrow. But I think tomorrow is going to be a day not worth trading with... Um, the US on, on holiday, so maybe in the morning or maybe something, but we'll have a look at that tomorrow. But uh, this could be the last trading opportunity today, well, for me anyway. Um, if we drop down to the hour, yesterday was absolute chaotic. Uh, nothing really materialized yesterday, as you can see, and I don't see anything really exciting at the moment so uh, just want to get where the top is 15 59 that's kind of the top of this um, range so until we break through this I have zero interest in jumping in now if we do break the downside I'd want to see a retest if we break the upside I want to see a close above the top and that'll be good enough for me because this is a tight range so it's 125 point stop loss and then I'll be looking for 125 point gain to the upside anyway so moral of this story is quite simple patience is key and if you drop down to the 15 minute you're going to see a little bit of structure hidden in amongst this and there is the main bit of structure right here but we do have an opening gap as well which could be a problem so this is what you want to see defended on the 15 minutes so that is 15 919 15 900 is where the gap is uh, on my charts anyway so let's just put that in so there's the structure that you're looking for if I test this area and get the price action we're looking at for it pin bars inside bars engulfing bars I'm long on the top of that uh, aiming for the top of the range more than anything else. Uh, if we get a break above 59.54 and a close on the 50 minute above that, that's going to validate a, a move higher. And then we will look at that um, as an opportunity to the upside as well. I think you're going to be stuck in limbo, to be honest. I think you, this range here is more than likely going to continue. Uh, unless there's some catalyst today but I think we're probably just going to muck around here until the US comes back from holiday next week so in my view anyway Monday is going to be your trading day I don't think you're going to get much today uh, stranger things have happened but we'll have to wait and see what transpires if anything today so um, yeah unfortunately that's just the way this market goes when the, the US goes on on holiday then the rest of the markets just go into consolidation or holding patterns as they wait for the US to come back and that's kind of what I see happening today again but anyway uh, the middle of this range is definitely there is some structure so pay attention to it uh, the bottom of the range has also got structure so pay attention to that as well uh, you're not looking to be short just yet uh, not until you get a break of the structure and a retest that indicates that there is potential sh opportunities for short and that will be held up by structure to the downside and the most logical one for me is going to be this area here that's at 15765 but i don't see that happening at the moment i think it's onwards and upwards trend is up you should be trading with the trend uh, what you're looking for is a break of structure here we're consolidating so break the structure that'll get you long again okay anyway that's kind of my view for today hope it helps and um, we'll check the markets tomorrow morning and see if there's something worth reporting on. Hope it helps. Catch up with you later.